So now, how many transistors are there? Four. Have you started? Yes, ma'am. Okay. For this experiment also, you should connect it to source because your uh, NMOS, NMOS substrate should always be connected to source. I mean, to ground. This is your substrate, right? Substrate should be connected to the ground terminal. Here also, this is a substrate connected to ground terminal. Okay, now we'll start with the layout. Look here. What is the first step? Launch. Layout. Tell me, students. Layout Excel and say okay. So the moment I do this, I have to say okay. Say yes to this. So layout editor will open. In this, what is the command? Connectivity. Connectivity. Generate all from source and say okay to this. So the moment I say okay, things will be present here. So I need to press shift F. Before that, see this is your PMOS and these two are NMOS. So what I'll do is I will just drag this NMOS here and drag and drop my NMOS here. Okay, here and this also little down. Drag, that's all. You are dragging it here. And we should connect it in a single line because both the gate terminal should be match. There should be a match. Alright, we'll do this. So now, see, what is the first step is? What is the first command? What is the first command? And see, while changing the boundary, we have to only, we, we cannot change your boundaries which are present in the XY direction. We can change the boundaries which are present here in this and this. So in order to change the boundary, first you have to press S and select this, drag it this way. Then similarly, if I want to increase the boundary this way, press S, it's already pressed, drag it this way. Understanding? Escape. Now this again, I am placing it here. Okay, I'll let it be here. Now see, my pins are somewhere outside the boundary, so that I need to align it, okay? How do I align those pins? I will just show you. So you have to first press Shift F, so that I get all the PMOS and NMOS here. This is your gate terminal, source and drain terminal. After pressing shift F, what is the next command? I will place the pins. Go to place, pin placement. And A, pin A should be selected, should be placed towards the right side or left side? Left. left. It should be placed towards the left, apply. Then pin B, let us place towards the right, apply. It is placed here. Then VDD, I need to place it on top, apply. Horizontal rail, if I make H rail, you see, it is becoming H rail. V out again, I will be placing towards the, where do you want me to place? See, I will uh, have my V out and V B on the right side. So, I will place it at the right and apply. Similarly, V S S, where should I place? Bottom, apply, horizontal rail, apply, done. Okay, done with this. So, close this. After doing this, I need to make the transistors as integrated or detached. So, this is your PMOS. So, if you go back to the schematic, you can see here, my sub this is my source terminal source and substrate both are connected to the same pin here also source and substrate are connected to the same pin so these two transistors will be integrated Integrate. you see what about this one see source is connected here and substrate is connected somewhere el else so this should be detached this should be detached similarly what about this transistor yeah so yeah source and Substrate are connected to the same, same pin. pin. So this should be integrated. 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 So only this end transistor, end most transistor should be detached. See, if I'm selecting here, if I go to the layout, you can see which is selected. So it is this. So only this should be detached. Understood? See, if I select here, go to my schematic, you can see which is selected. You can see white box here. Okay, if I select this, if I select this transistor, go to the layout, you see which is selected? This one. So I should only, what is the command now? What is the key? Q. Press Q. Q. And parameter body type should be detached Detail. for this. Detached. So therefore, what you can see is, you can make out your, this is your source terminal, this is your source terminal, this is your body or substrate terminal. Done. Similarly, press Q and it should be integrated. Okay. Press Q. Select the transistor, press Q. Select the transistor, press Q. This should be in the parameter integrated. integrated ok select the transistor press Q parameter integrated and ok done with this now what we need to do is we can just drag it a little this side hmm? 
and the spacing also will matter no p mos and n mos spacing it will say that you have a large spacing and stuff if in case we do not uh, match those design rule check okay now we'll start with the connection so first we will uh, what do we do we will connect both the gate terminals of uh, one p mos and one n mos right this is your p mos and this is your n mos before that i will tell you we will shift rotate this transistor that is this transistor by 180 degree because we need to connect the source and drain terminal here see my source is here and the drain is here if we rotate this by 180 degree it becomes easy for me to connect the source and drain so again select the transistor press q and parameter press q go to param no no parameter attribute only your rotation is rotated by 180 degree you can see now the drain terminal will be rotated this way see so before making the connections try to rotate it students select this transistor and drag and drop it so now i can uh, easily short my source and drain so this is my source this is my drain i will just connect these two understood so far so again when we zoom in you if you if you want you see here this is see now it will also tell you where this gate is connected to it's connected here here and here it is telling you right so this when you are aligning it should this line should be straight line so that when you drag and drop it will be aligned in a proper fashion okay shall we start now tell me now first how do we have to proceed first the pmos of this and the pmos nmos gate should be connected together what should what is the command press p p this gate and gate is shorted then it should be connected to your input terminal so input is of your a what are we doing right click wire down to poly click once and drag and drop okay done so we have finished this connection now where what shall we do we will now connect the drain of this pmos drain of this pmos with the drain of this nmos that should be connected okay i should leave here okay then the drain of this and the drain of this first you short these two the drain of this should be you can zoom in this way see zoom in zoom out like this drain and drain to be connected this way mm? then what else it should be connected to which drain pmos see pmos and nmos drain are connected now this should be connected to this drain so what i'll do is i will drag here and try to connect it here this way okay ah uh, drains are connected now that is also connected to v out it says so this is my v out pin if you can zoom in where is my v out pin it is down if you want you take it on top take it on top and try to connect this okay now students so what is the command again press p this you can connect it here done so we are done with this connection then we will do what tell me the source and the drain should be connected and both the gate should be connected and to connected to output b pin. Mm. not output pin input pin b. b what should be connected now this gates yes. which gate this b mos and this n mos should be connected and it should be connected to b, b. your input b so you drag this down here because we are connecting it to this and again the uh, distance between the metal and the poly should also be satisfied so we'll have a certain distance we'll have okay connect this with the help of what we down to poly see this should be connected to b no this is b only right what should be connected both the gates yes. are shorted and it's connected to metal b via down to poly click once and then finally connect it here done then what else is left tell me this source and drain uh, so this is done what else is there this source VDD and ha huh, vdd and vss and even this source and drain is not connected first we will connect this source of this terminal should be what source of your nmos should be connected to the drain of this nmos so i will connect this way what about this gate connected no this gate is also connected no okay so source should be connected to the drain just drag a little here and try to connect to the drain done no then what else this 
body is connected to VSS and this source and body is connected to VSS. Now we will connect the VSS pin. Okay, body is connected to VSS. This source and body both are connected because my transistor is what? Integrated here. So both are connected to VSS. Done. Now we will connect the VDD pins. Where it has to be connected? Your source and sub body should be connected to VDD. VDD. Here also source and body should be connected to VDD. Which is source and body? This one. That should be connected to VDD. This also should be connected to. See it is telling you the path where it is going. If you can see. Observe. Hmm? Over. That's alright. Anything else? We have connected the input. Output. One input is here. One input is here. Where both the gates are shorted of PMOS and NMOS. Okay. And connected the source and body terminals of both all the PMOS and NMOS are done. That's all. That's all is a connection. Please do it fast. Don't take much time. Save it. Any, anything is missing here? No, right? Okay. So now what is the next step? Ashura, technology. So since we have already selected the technology, it will be available there. Just say okay to this. Ashura and run DRC. Now what will you do? What will be the run name? NAND. NAND. And technology GPTK 180. Just say okay. Did we save? Mm, saved it, I think. Just say yes. So no DRC error should be available. If it is available, we need to correct it. See, now this is the error I am telling you. Look here, observe here carefully. How do we correct the error? Poly width must be greater than 0.18 micrometer. How do I correct the error? Is select this. And NVEL. NVEL to NVEL spacing should also be greater than. So first select this and click on this arrow. Poly width must be greater than this. So it is here. It is, it is pointing out. It should be greater than that. So that means what? What should happen? Huh? Where? Between those two. Between these two transistors, it should have more distance. Now, what happens is like so suppose if we if we if we if we select this transistor and try to move it like this, the entire connection which is connected here will change. See here, the gate stuff and this stuff, everything is changed now. If you want, you will have to just repeat this connection. We have just increased a little distance here. Okay. Now just delete this if you want. Delete this also, delete this also, delete this. Hmm? Okay, so now what I should do, I should align this first. Make this also in the same alignment. And uh, this is connected to output, right? Delete this also. Okay, now look here. What should be connected? Press P. These are the gate terminals. With the help of wire, I will be wire down to poly. Connecting it to the gate, right? The drains of both are shorted, which is connected to my output terminal. Correct. Save it. And again run. Anything Anything misalignment here? No misalignment? No, sure. See, we have a misalignment here. We have it. Delete this again. There is a misalignment. So, P, this was connected to VSS. Any more misalignments? You are saying no? Look here. It is misaligned. This also you should delete. Now press P. What it has to be? It should be connected to the drain of this. Anything else? Anything else students? No. So the drain and drain and drain both are shorted. No, this drain, this drain is shorted. That should be connected to this drain. No? Students? It should be connected to this drain. This or no? I deleted this. We will delete this. nothing complicated just have to do a uh -huh, it's okay but we'll do it again see both the drains are cp press p both the drains are connected together that should be connected to the that should be connected where it should be connected to this drain terminal and it should also be connected to v out yes Hmm. Press P and try to connect this to V out. Correct? Sure? Where is the boundary gone? Boundary should be available. So something went with the boundary. Okay? So boundary should be available. We will run DRC. Just say okay. Overwrite for this you have to press okay. Yes? You can check what is happening in the log file at the end. 
so again some error is available here that is metal one to metal one spacing see this again how do we uh, check this select this select this it should be properly aligned see now it is same yeah, it is correct now this is where this was where it was here somewhere oh save it again go to ashura run drc overwrite still because there is an this side also we are supposed to do so select this and try to align it properly okay students run drc so you in a way you have learned how do you correct the errors metal to metal one spacing should be greater so here it is telling you where is that where alignment ah alignment again no this alignment again should be aligned properly or just delete this delete this now tell students p this should be connected to b d d okay save it what is this now? will you all do this you should get this only then output seen otherwise no output seen ha huh? okay this only output, yeah? this only output seen you should show this to the examiner no drc error found they will tell you show the error this then again one more thing they will ask you to show is lvs so you have to show again for lvs which is nothing but your nand underscore this technology is this say okay lvs versus schematic match that also is the output this if it is not matching it will give you errors here otherwise see schematic and layout match and mismatches are 0 0 0 here net mismatches device mismatch pin mismatch so this you should show okay understood extraction you know how to do no extract it at your level because we do not have time stop the recording you can where did it go okay layout is available here okay now students fine but anyways the boundary was missing i thought it will give you again some error huh it did not